And it's Friday, so you know what that means. It means it's time to spill the tea. And we have a little bit of a shoe cam going on today. Shoe cam shoe time. Cam. Shoe cam time. I have on a pair of basic black heeled sandals. They're so comfortable. They're probably about four and a half, five inches. But these are probably one of the most comfortable pairs of shoes that I have in my They're really good closet. for spring and summer. Yes. Go with a lot of different things. They They're do. really cute. I love them. And what do you have on today, Judy? I have on these kind of a silvery gray little low heel sandal because I'm wearing bright purple. Well, the silver whatever. and the purple is definitely giving me royal vibes. I was feeling royal this morning. You'll never be royal. royal. I'll never be royal. You can call her Queen Bee. She will be royal. But I could pretend. Well, you look amazing. We're <laughs> loving yes, the purple. <laughs> and it's not, you know, it's Queen D. I like that. I like that. Queen Judy D. Uh, can I, I'm going to use that now. Yes, you have okay. to. I'm I feel like you should it. change all of your handles. Mm -hmm. Just Queen Judy D. Queen D. Queen D. Okay, I'm and in. Queen D. Spilling the tea. Spilling the tea. I love that. <laughs> and what makes you so fun, Queen D, uh, is your personality. Aw, You have a great personality. You. And I mean, personality tests are probably one of my favorite things ever. It just helps yeah. you learn a little bit more about yourself. And you found a pretty cool personality test. This is, this is a fairly newer one that more people are doing. It's called the Big Five. Um, and it's, you answer, I think it takes about 20 minutes to answer the question. Not, I think it took me five minutes. I, to me too, it, this I just, it was so quick. I was like, boop, 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 boop. right. <laughs> and it measures extroversion, agreeableness, openness, consciousness, and neuroticism. How did you fare? Um, okay, so I knew I was going to be extroverted. I got a perfect score. Me too. <laughs> me too. <I> got a <laughs> we're both. What did you say before, before we were on? It was like a... You, oh, there is no, you talk to everybody. I talk to everybody. I know no strangers. Some of these things were like, I make friends easily. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh yeah, that's me. Right. I literally will talk to at least 15 people every time I'm in the grocery store. I talk to, <laughs> me too. Me the too. grocery store is the best. I talk it to is. everybody. You meet so many people in the grocery store. Now, I'll bet you were open to experiences. Yes, I got a 35 out of 40 on that one too. I got a Very 34 open. or something like Solid. that. Solid. Mm -hmm. Agreeableness, I got 36 out of 40. So, Which yep. means I'm helpful, trusting, empathetic. Mm -hmm. Now, this one is hilarious. My mother and father will probably say, yes, this is what we've been dealing with our whole life. On the consciousness, Consciousness. There we go. It's hard to say that. It's a hard one to say. I got nine out of forty. Okay, I got seven. Okay, that okay. makes me feel so, so bad. bad. <laughs> and it says, you know, people who are low in the consciousness arena, they're impulsive and they're yep. careless. I don't know if I'd say careless. I would say carefree. Carefree <laughs> is more it. And actually, it's funny this you said impulsive because whenever I so I asked my sister once, I go, what one word would you use to describe impulsive. me? She says my impulsive. My parents would say that too. Yeah. They're like, oh, Chelsea's impulsive. She does whatever she wants. Yeah. She flies by the seat of her pants. And you're doing just fine. So. Thank you. I know. We're this, just, this girl, thank you. She knows I, I appreciate doing. it. I pre and we just also discovered, if you haven't heard of the Meyer Briggs personality test, the 16 personalities were also the same. ENFP. So, right. No surprise that this is, you know, that we, we scored this spirits. place. <laughs> kindred spirits. I know. I love that. Okay, so we had the personality test. Mm -hmm. And then we love to talk about mental health here because it's yeah. so important. We want to make sure our minds are in good spaces. Absolutely. And mental health apps have been very popular lately, especially kind of coming out on the other side of this pandemic, right? Yeah, more people are apparently needing mental health, but they're still have this fear of talking about it. And um, I know my own niece, and she wouldn't mind me saying this, um, she went on an app and we, she talked to me about it. She knows I've seen therapists mm -hmm. um, and it's been great for her. And it was a minimal charge. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. And it's really good to just talk through some things. You might have things that you didn't even know you were dealing with. Mm -hmm. And really just talking to a health professional really yeah. does go a long way. You can even download some apps, the Calm mm -hmm. app. I use the Abide app. It helps me go to sleep at night. So Yeah, the Calm is a great one. And also, I like the um, Sanvelo. The Talkspace mm -hmm. Online is also a good one. So the most important thing is to get help when you need yeah. help, you know? Absolutely. And we'll make sure you have access to all of that on our Website, pseudostl.tv. Mother's Day is coming up this weekend, and mom's salaries. It's determined that if moms got paid for all of the work that they did as mothers, mm -hmm. they would be making, drum roll please, $126,725 a year. Man. Now, is that enough? No. no. Mothers, you all are priceless. Mm -hmm. You really are priceless. I know. Aww. I agree. I think it should be at least a million, but. I know. I would take a million dollars. I have a baby just <laughs> 
<laughs> She's like, I'm done. Just I'm going to make a million dollars. But, you know, with all the work that they do. They do do a lot of work. Okay, we're running out of time here, but I do have to talk about this. Lori Harvey and Michael B. Jordan, she looked amazing at the Met Gala. Mm -hmm. Can we get those pictures up? Yeah, are they there? Oh, oh, look at her. It looks amazing. One of my former high school classmates interviewed her. No way. Her name's Blake Newby. It's gone viral, and she asked Lori, how do you get the abs? And yeah. Lori said, Pilates. Oh, I love so Pilates, we need but it's to be hard. In a Pilates class. Yeah, because she looks up. good. Wow. Oh. But I love that Michael B was giving her all this love I know, on we, social media. We yeah, love it. Yeah, They're yeah. cute. She I love hit them. The jackpot. Well. well, from the outside looking in, it looks like she hit the jackpot. I think They're so a too. Cute couple. Look at them. I love that dress, <gasps> by the way. It's fabulous. Oh, that looks like a wedding dress. It look. We can hear the bell. Ding dong. Yeah. Lori and Michael B. Well, shout out to all of our mamas. It's Mother's Day weekend. We just want to say thank you, moms, for all that you do. My mom, if you're watching, thank you. You're the best. Your mom is great. I met her. She's wonderful. And my mommy, Rita, I love you. Aw, Rita and Millie. Aww. Happy Mother's Day. Bye, St. Louis. I have a great weekend. <laughs>